What's good, Washington fans? The Washington football team has signed Ricky Sills Jones, the tight end, undrafted tight end out of Texas A&M, who used to be a former wide receiver. Uh, I think it's for a one-year deal. So this is a solid sign. I just watched his highlights. The guy is pretty fluid. Um, he has decent speed to him, good hands, played wide receiver in college, transitioned to tight end, wasn't able to really create much separation as a wide receiver. Uh, but he's got good height on him, good hands. I mean, he's he's a big target. Really good in the red zone as well. Played pretty well for the Cardinals. Or decent. He was solid with the Cardinals. Solid with the Browns, with Baker Mayfield. Caught a couple of touchdowns for them. Um, so he should be a, a decent, solid tight end number three or tight end number two for us. So this signing probably means that Sammy's Reyes is raw, as we have all as we talked about last week with, with uh, rookie minicamp. And uh, they probably saw him even more in OTAs. And, and that's fine. You know, it's not a knock on Sam East. Uh, this is good for him. He gets to develop Mo Ali Cox, who played basketball in college and then played didn't play any football. And then, you know, transitioned to the NFL with the Colts. He was on the practice squad. They let him sit for a year, and then he got better. And then he got to play. And he's he's turned into a pretty solid tight end, as you saw him beat Carson Wentz in knockout the other day in OTAs for the Colts. Uh, but you look at R Ricky Sills Jones' numbers, man. He's six foot five, two hundred forty three pounds. He's a big boy. He's a big fella. Twenty six years old, still pretty young. You know, Ron Rivera has done a great job with transitioning guys like Logan Thomas into a, uh, helping him develop. You know, Coach Pete Horner helping him develop as a tight end, and then Greg Olson with the Carolina Panthers as well. So um, this this is a pretty solid solid move here. Um, in 2017 with the Cardinals, he had 12 catches for 201 yards and three touchdowns. In 2018 with the Cardinals, he had 34 catches for 343 yards and a touchdown. So solid numbers. 2019 in Cleveland with Baker Mayfield, had 14 catches for 229 yards and four touchdowns. Also played with the Kansas City Chiefs. Played for two games, but only got one target. Didn't have any catches at all. So Deion Yelder, we signed him. He played with the Chiefs as well this past year. Um, so with Cleveland, he has some pretty good numbers, 14 catches, 229, 229 yards and four touchdowns. So this guy is a big target over the middle. Definitely can help um, Sammy's Reyes develop a little bit here. And then you look at the tight end room right now is Logan Thomas and Tyrone Soups is also on the roster right now. They were both quarterbacks in college. Sammy's Reyes played basketball. And then we have two undrafted players in Ricky Sills Jones now and Deion Yelder, both from the Chiefs. And two late round picks in Tamaric Hemingway, a six round pick, and John Bates as a fourth round pick. So John Bates is going to be a blocking tight end. We got another receiving tight end, and Ricky Seals Jones. He's more of a receiving guy, as like I said, he played receiver in college. And then some more background here from Pete Haley it says Ricky Seals Jones uh, played wide receiver at Texas A&M, was an All American basketball player in high school, had 60 grabs in his career, eight, and eight touchdowns since coming to the league in 2017. So this is a good signing. I like it, man. I really do. This is very interesting. Uh, for him and coming out of the 20 coming out in 2017 so his best year was in 2018 34 catches for 343 yards and only one touchdown so not bad at all so I I like the signing I, like I said I think he's he's a he's very fluid uh he's got a little speed on speed in him he uh, I saw him line up in the slot a couple times too so he's got good hands man I, I like the signing you know Ron he finds these hidden gems man these guys that you don't really know about I have heard of Ricky Sills Jones but these guys, you know, who are low key, hidden gems, low risk, high reward signings, and these guys end up working out for us. So honestly, I think the tight end room right now, the starters for me, I think this guy is going to make the team. I think he definitely makes the team. Uh, it's going to be um, Logan Thomas, of course, is our starter, Ricky Seals Jones, and John Bates. I think John Bates will be tight end number two, and the Ricky Seals Jones will be tight end number three. Those will be the three tight ends for me making that I predict making the roster. So I like this signing a lot. Pretty solid. All right, you guys. Stay tuned tonight. I should be live streaming. If not, I'll try, I'll, try, I'm gonna try to live stream another time with my elite channel members. So stay tuned. Hail to the football team, man. Keeping us busy, man. Keeping us busy. Hail to the football team. Peace.